The MOXO test is an innovative DCPT test. At the core, it is a continuous performance test, CPT, with the letter D representing MOXO's unique distractor system. In this short film, we'll explore how the test is constructed and learn how the attention indices are measured. The test is based on a simple go-no-go -go task. This basic task contains target and non-target elements appearing at the center of the screen. The patient is instructed to respond as fast as possible and to press the space bar once and only once each time the target element appears. The results are displayed in four indices which together provide the attentive profile. Attention, timing, impulsiveness, and hyperactivity. How is the test constructed? Let's start with a general overview. The test is divided into eight levels which are all performed consecutively. The levels differ from each other in the type of their distractors. This will be explained in greater depth in a later film. The common denominator for all levels are the target and non-target elements appearing in the center of the screen and the pattern in which they appear. Let's zoom in and look at a segment from the test. Each element, for example a target, can appear for a different length of time, half a second, one second, or three seconds. Then a void appears, a blank screen, for the exact length of time as the element. Let's specify how the attentive indices are measured. If a first keystroke is performed while the target element is still on the screen, it will be categorized as correct attention and correct timing. When a first keystroke was performed after the target element disappears, during the void that follows, it will be categorized as only correct attention. If there were three keystrokes in response to the target element, instead of only one, in which the first keystroke occurred during the appearance of the element, it will be categorized as a correct attention and correct timing. The two redundant keystrokes will be categorized as hyperactive commissions. Now, let's move on to a non-target element. During its appearance, a keystroke will be categorized as an impulsive commission. If two keystrokes were performed, the first will be categorized as an impulsive commission and the second as a hyperactive commission. In summary, the four indices are calculated as follows. Attention. Correct keystrokes performed during the appearance of the target or the void that follows. Timing. Correct keystrokes performed only while the target appears on the screen. Impulsiveness. Redundant keystrokes performed while a non-target element appears on the screen. Hyperactivity. Any second or more keystrokes performed in response to any kind of element. This video demonstrated the basic concepts of the MOXO test. For more information, please watch the other videos.